here in Gentilly, you can still see and smell the smoke hours after firefighters got this blaze under control. The New Orleans Fire Department says the fire broke out around 545 in the morning. These photos from the NOFD show several boats engulfed in the massive flames. Jeffrey Mons has owned the boat yard with his brother for about 30 years. He says he awoke to the news from the levee board just after 6 in the morning. I've had better days. It's, uh, it's going to be a rough one, but we'll get through it. Mons said the fire started in an office. The fire department said the one-story wooden structure was fully engulfed in flames when they arrived. Now this is all that's left. When I got here this morning, it was blowing a good 25 out of the north, northeast, I would say. Um, and the boats uh, near the start of the fire, it looked like they got it. And then some other boats, two other boats that were a couple of hundred yards away also caught fire and presumably from ambers. As the flames spread, Mon says five boats were badly damaged and two have minor damages, not to mention what was lost in the office. All our paperwork, computers, everything. Luckily, everything's backed up, but the paper files are all gone. We lost a lot of information, unfortunately. Mons told us boat owners are being notified. Owners have been notified for most of them. Um, some of them we just don't have phone numbers for yet. The NOFD said there were no hydrants near the original fire. This made extinguishing the fire difficult, forcing them to call for more manpower to get water from the nearby canal. A total of 21 units responded. Now months and the boat owners are left to pick up the pieces from the smoldering ash. We'll get through it. Gone through quite a few hurricanes and and everything, but you know, just rebuild. No one was hurt, thank God. According to the New Orleans Fire Department, this is still under investigation. Lily Cummings, Eyewitness News.